Hello, everybody. It's Bob Anderson, and today is September 19th, 2024, and today was my first day that I tried my to, my process of getting my 25K PA challenge to funding, which I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to do this, okay? I got, I got, all, the, I got all the armory to make it happen, but today was just not that day. <laughs> first off, I came back from, I was out of town. I told you guys last week I went out of town. I came back Tuesday and I was just hectic and I didn't trade. Then I woke up Wednesday to start the challenge and all of a sudden I noticed, oh shoot, it's Fed fun, Fed announcement day. So I said, forget it. I'm not, I'm not putting 25K accounts at, at risk <clears throat> during the volatility of the Fed announcement day. And then, um, so today was my first day. I broke even. I took two trades, one in RTY and one in NQ. But what I want to show you is I want to show you the trades. I want to show you what um, what trades I, I missed or or whatnot. And, uh, and, and I want to show you uh, a trade that, for example, is going on right now in the RTY as I'm sitting here doing this video that um, I have not discussed before, but conceptually, it'll be easy for you to understand. It's just, it's, 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 in, it's in conjunction with the overnight open concept of when you cross over and retest and then go. Um, you know, the same pattern happens with the red line. <clears throat> and I wanna discuss why it happens and how to recognize it. And I'm going to show you one that happened in the RTY and the NQ today. And I'm going to talk about why I didn't take it versus when I, sh you know, I should have taken it. Why I didn't take it. Let me explain to you why I didn't take it. I didn't take it because I didn't want the first trade that I took with this 25K challenge. I didn't want the first trade that I took to be not in the realm of the rules of the five minute red line and the one minute gold line and the overnight open. When in reality, I lost a lot of money because I didn't take it. And I sat right here and I looked at the trade and I said, oh my God, this is going to work perfectly. When I show you, you'll see what I mean. Okay. And it only happens on certain days when certain things are going on that this trade even is available. So I'm going to go over that and then we'll, we'll go from there. All right. So I'm going to walk you through slowly the NQ. Now, let me explain something to you. <clears throat> I talked about this in my last video. I was not going to trade the NQ with these 25K accounts. And I, and I made a comment in the video that, well, I, maybe I'll do micros, but I, but I've never, I mean, minis, but I've never done them. I've never traded them. And, uh, and somebody messaged me and said, Bob, Go ahead and trade it. It's great. Just it's just like trading. It's just like trading the larger contracts. So I honestly took my first ever trade uh, today in in that little micros. I've never done a micro trade before, <clears throat> and it kind of shook me out of the it shook me out of the trade because I I kind of freaked out. I wasn't. You'll see why. All right. Let me show you. Uh, we'll start with the NQ. All right, hold on. <clears throat> okay, so here's your, you know, your micro NQ, not your, not your full full contract. Okay, that's what I have up here, and that's the trade I took today off off of one of these. Now I've never taken one of these before, so I wasn't really. I knew I knew basically the leverage factor, but this is probably the worst instrument to take one of these on because it can just you know move extremely fast but let's let's just talk about things for a second here okay so i want to show you the trade i didn't take only because it would have been the first one in this challenge and there i would be taking the, the first trade i took is not even one i talk about on this channel um I do talk about it, but I talk about it in a different way. So let's let's see what I mean. Let's let's talk about what I mean. So here's our red line, five minute red line, right? Okay. 
And we can see after the market opens and it goes through a daily high in the NQ and comes down and hits it and boom, off it goes. Holy cow. Okay. So does this, does that, does that give you an indication that they're respecting the five minute red line? I think so. I mean, it does to me. And then we had like, uh, then we had this movement down and it never broke here and then it blew through and came down and it went to the bottom of the five minute red line. Okay. So, <clears throat> By the way, there was news at 10 o'clock. It was housing starts. It's not a big deal, but whatever. So I just, I didn't look for anything anyways. But now I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shrink this up for a second and show you something. What am I about to show you? I'm about to show you that there's where the market opened. Here's where the market is at the current time we're talking about. That's a very large movement. from here to this level, okay? Very large. And one of the things I've talked about in the past, and I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna emphasize it right now. This is very important. If the market is trending long, or if the market is trending short, whatever direction it is in a, in a significant way, then counter trend trading, say, Let's just say it was 1030 or 10, you know, 1015, 1030 to a daily low, and not to a daily low, but to a donkey and channel back up to here and then down. That's not a good trade because you're counter trend trading. What you don't recognize, okay, and this is very important. I, I really need you to understand what I'm about to discuss. Just because the lines are, are you know, are, are our trigger lines, our gold line and our red line doesn't mean there's not other trigger lines on on the charts from people using longer term trading uh, lines and whatnot. So this rotation, for example, right here, back up, that's probably off of some other bigger timeline, some other slower moving average or, you know, somewhere in that realm. And now, and, and just like our just like our five minute red line being stronger than our one minute red line, this conceptually should be stronger than this. Okay, so you you don't want to counter trend when you have a big up day. Instead, you want to only trade if you're in agreement with the overall direction of that instrument, be it oil, be it gold, be it whatever. Okay. So I'm not looking, even if this was 10, 15 or 10, 30 or whatnot, I'm not looking for this to go from here to here and then down. Because the whole way down, we're fighting Fibonacci trends. We're fighting uh, slower moving averages. We're fighting a whole bunch of stuff. Okay. Trend, you guys ever heard the phrase trend is your friend? Okay. So. Now here, grasp where I'm going next. Trend is your friend. So what's the trend based off what you're seeing? Well, the trend is long, okay? The trend is definitely long. So we should be looking for some longs. Well, look at this. See, we created a pivot here that rotated down and we got into this wash. See this pivot right here? I, one of the things I talk about, I don't use these pivots, but I've got them on this chart so you guys can see them. I've talked about many, 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 many times. Look to your left, look to your left, and it'll tell you the future. If you look to the left, you will know what's going to happen to the right. Nine times out of 10. One of the main things that the market does is it breaks pivots in a direction and then retests the area that was broken. So let's talk about this. Does the five minute red line look like it's working? Yes. Did it get blown through here and then retested to the bottom? Yes. Is this counter trend if we took a short here? Yes. Do we want to do that? No. Did it hold for a while? Yes. Did it even create a pivot rotation? Yes. Did we break it to the long side? Yes. I mean, there's a lot of yeses going on here. I'm saying them real fast. But here's what I mean. 
So then what happened? Boom, 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 boom. We retested. Remember, I've talked about this. If we break one way, we're going to retest the other way, which is exactly what happened here. Why do you think this stopped right here? Okay, it stopped right here because of the traders that are trading this 21 SMA. The problem is they're trading at counter trend. So it gets, there's a bump in the road right here. Just like I talk about the bump in the road, you know, with the nine EMA, if you're trying to trade against it with like right here with the five minute red line, there's a bump in the road. There's a bump in the road because there's traders there. Once the bump is broken, then what happens is you have your run out and you have your retest. Do you always have a retest? No, but when you have a retest, it's a retest of what was broken. Just like on the one, just like on the overnight open, I've talked about this over and over again. If the, if, if, let's just, let's just do this right here. Let me just create a line right here. Okay. If, uh, let me change the color. Hold on here. This is, I, I, I really want to get this across. I really, 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 really want to get this across. Because this is so important in your trading. All right, so here's your, let's just say this is your overnight open. And price is down here. And it runs through and then creates a little space there. But it in, before it did that, it bounced, 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 bounced. And then it runs through and then it comes back and sits on top of it. That's just, that's, this is how they get rid of the people with FOMA. I've talked about this. The people that chased this break. They want to squeeze them out and they want to seek in the process. They want to seek a, a known rotation spot to do that, that the algos then kick in and off they go. So just like I've talked about here, you've got your, you know, price going up here, price coming, price coming down, price going up, price going up. And then it goes through and then it comes over here. I mean, I know, I know so many of you have seen this before and then it goes down to here and then because it's just testing the backside of it, it's cleaning out the, the, it's cleaning out the newbies that, that chased it and then bam, off it goes. Same concept when you're seeing this red line working, it's the exact same concept. Okay, so what happened over here? I highlighted it because I didn't take this trade, but there she goes. And where is she going to go? She's going to go back to the daily high. I've talked about this a million times. I didn't take that trade because I didn't want the first trade that I took to not be from the day from a donkey and high back to here. I have these donkey and channels on this chart. To make it simpler for you guys to see, looking to the left, what looking to the left means. I have these pivots on here so you guys can see what I'm talking about in breaks. But it doesn't mean that that's the be all to end all because the reality of it is this was this was a solid consolidation zone. We broke it, came back, retested it. And if you look at this candle, look at this candle right here. Oh my God, they cleaned out all those traders that chased it. And then they did exactly what they wanted. Just like that. Unbelievable. And I did not take that trade at 10, 12, which is perfect timing. I did not take that trade because I didn't want my first one to be that. Now let's talk about this trade for just a second. Okay. If you follow the back of the candles on this trade, you're out right here, okay? But if you follow pivots, oh wait, hold on here. <laughs> I, got to, I got to my trade here in a second, hold on here. All right, hold on, hold on. 
So this is, but you go back to the daily high and then you're out. So, but there's just way, there was a lot of money there. You're talking about 34 to 72. I mean, I don't, I don't know how many points that is. 72, 34 minus, that's 38 points, which is 152 ticks. And I mean, you just, it just went. Okay. So now I did not take this trade frustrating that I didn't. I actually had an order on my chart and I said, I can't do that. I can't take that trade as my first trade. So anyways, I'm going to take them going forward. You'll see why here in a minute. But anyways, so here we are. We have a daily high. We have, uh, we have a pullback. We have another pullback. Now we have an inside candle. Okay. This is the high. Then all of a sudden, bam, we pierced live in live. This candle pierced through this gold line and I had my order sitting right there. Bam. Now, remember, I'm taking those uh, those reduced price contracts, whatever the hell they're called. And uh, right here, the little minis. So, um, I mean, the micros, the micros, sorry, the little micros. So I had my order here and I mean, this thing flew through there and I mean, it flew straight up to here. And I was like, oh my God, I grabbed my stop and threw it up here because I just freaked out. I didn't, I couldn't even see the P and L cause I didn't have it on. And I just saw ticks. I just saw ticks. And I can tell you in the NQ, the real NQ from here to here is a lot of money. <laughs> That's a lot of money. So what happened? Boom. Just like normal. They came down, ticked me out to the tick. And then ran this trade. If you follow the back of the candles as your stop, which is a great idea with, with, with these little minis, these micros, this thing goes all the way up to here. I think it was like, uh, hold on here. This is... Uh, 143, 143, your entry was 83, so that's 60, that's 240, 240 ticks, that one trade right there, and I got freaking ticked out, because I freaked out, I just totally freaked out, I'm going to be calm or going forward, because I now realize that even though I threw three contracts in there, we weren't talking about a lot of money here when this came back. I mean, I could, I should have, I should have had my stop underneath that candle. And then I should have waited till this candle got broke and put my stop under it. It's just total freak out mode. I'm rusty. I hadn't traded in a week. And that was the trade, but that was a beautiful trade. Beautiful trade. Absolutely beautiful trade. This was a beautiful trade too, but anyways, and then, and then, okay, so let's talk about one other thing. I want, this is important. I want people to understand this. So you see this candle right here. All right. I'm going to get rid of this so I can show you. See this candle right here. See this pullback right here. And then this candle eclipsed this candle to the left. As soon as it did that, then my whole mindset is this is going to fail. But you're going to get a reaction nine times out of 10, even when it does break, because you have a lot of traders that don't, that don't necessarily understand that this is going to go up and roll over because this was your sign. This right here, the fact that this candle already tried to run up and came down. What happened? Boom. Now, Let's keep a focus on this. So now that we know, now that we see this projected failure, which is exactly what I anticipated, why I didn't take any trades in here. I then, I then said, okay, I'm frustrated. I took an RTY trade. I'll show that to you in a minute. <clears throat> and then I just shut my computer down and I, I went about my business day. Was that a mistake? Um, yeah, it was a mistake. Mind you, I didn't take this trade. The crossover in the direction of the trend, the break of the pivot, the roll up, the pullback, retest of this line that you can seriously see is being respected. 
and then wham. Okay. So I'm already frustrated because I got ticked out here and watched this run up. By the way, in one, with one, um, with one micro or mini, one mini, that was 1200 and some dollars. That one trade, if you just follow the back of the candles. Anyways, so down we go. Uh-oh, uh-oh. What are we seeing? We're seeing a pretty good smooth pullback for the five-minute red line. We're seeing it form right here. We're seeing it form right here. I don't even have my computer in front of my face. Uh-oh, pierced. Should have an order north of this once this candle closes. What happened? Okay, then this candle went down further. Still should have our order one, one above this candle when it closes. Okay, we should have our order above this candle, this candle when it closes because we keep going down. Bam, 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 bam. So this went from here to here, which was 120 some ticks. I, I have a tendency to play this with, uh, with my target being 100 ticks with a 30 tick stop. So there it is. All right. So that was a five minute red line. Mind you, see this pivot. Let's just talk. Let's just talk bigger picture for a second here. See this pivot right here on this pullback. This pullback was to a higher pivot area than here. And then boom, off it goes again. Now watch this. This is this is interesting. There's a there's a pattern to what I'm about to show you. See this pivot here? We broke through it here. See this pivot here to the left? That's why I always say look to your left. This not breaking this was important. This breaking this is important. Once they break one of these pivots to your left and you broke through your, your one minute gold line, they're just seeking to sit on top of it. And then boom. And they sat on top of it the whole way, I think all the way back to the high, I think. Yeah, maybe not. I don't remember. I, I didn't trade. So I don't know. But anyway, so here's that rotation right there from here to here. If you follow the back of the candles, for example, with your stop, boom, you're out right here. Apparently, a lot of people did that because when it broke, it broke hard. Just follow the back of the candles with your stop, boom, when it broke, it broke hard. It goes inside your gold line, comes back up, breaks your pivot, sits on top of that gold line, off it goes again. I mean... <clears throat> Looking to the left, the reason I have this donkey and channel on here is so you guys can see a significant break to the left. That's what the donkey and channel is there for. Look at this, for example. So you got this rotation. Here's your here's your pivot low. Rotate it up, breaks your donkey and channel, pull back, pull back, pull back, and see this long candle here that did not break this pivot here. And then this green candle, and then wham, there you go again. I mean, these patterns are pretty easy to see once you figure out one of the main things. Write this down. They are looking. The algos are looking for the places that people are going to chase. Once they break that out, they run it back. They're looking for a place to retest. And the retest places all in agreement with your with your. Um, with your trend for today in NQ, for example, is to the long side. Here's your retest. See, they didn't even give you a fake, a false sense that the nine was gonna work here. They just blew right through it. Then boom, up you went. Then they broke this pivot here and then sat on it and then up they went again. I mean, it's just over and over and over again. Why are you not concerned with this rotating down and then down? Because you're on an uptrend. What are we doing? We're still uptrending. I'm, I'm just guessing because I don't even know what it does for the rest of this. Well, we don't have much more trading in it. 
Wow. Okay, so here it is live. All right. So that was my that was my uh, NQ trade, but also the NQ trade I did not take because I did not want to be the guy who tells you the strategy and then goes and does something else. I don't care about these donkey and channels. I always look to the left. You're looking for the area where they created where they created a a um, a resistance. Then you're looking for that area to be broken, rolled over, retested, boom. That's what you're looking for. That's how this that's how this strategy works. That's how you get into these big candles. See this one right here? Big candle. See this one right here? Big candle. See the one I took? Big candle. If you start recognizing how these rotations work and the breaking to the left and how they're trying to how they're pulling them back to support areas then you'll recognize the trades that create the big green candles for the long side big green candles okay and you'll also start identifying the ones that are going to be fake like that one right there because this was your signal all right, so let me let me show you the RTY just a second. All right, this is the RTY. Now again, I want to emphasize something. These are just the things I see. It doesn't make me right and you wrong or or vice versa. This is just the things I see. These are the things that I look for. These are the things that I hope are going to work in my favor or whatnot. And uh, and that's what that's what these videos are about. Okay, so let's talk about the RTY. Once again, very similar to the NQ. Early in the morning, it 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 uh, ironically went up, sat on the. <laughs> I just want to point this out. <laughs> sat on the overnight open and then did this. Sat on the over. See how it broke up and sat on the overnight open and then did this. Okay, so. By the way, the NQ chart, if I pulled it back up again, it did the exact same thing. It went up, sat on the overnight open, and then off it went. And if you don't think that there's a reaction from that overnight open, how do you think this big, huge run-up came from? Where do you think that came from? I mean, that's a huge run-up. It blew through all the moving averages, just gone. Blew through the 9, blew through the 21, just blew right through it. So anyways, um, Let's talk about this. So when when this when I saw this this morning, I said, "Well, shit, I don't, I'm not worried about any shorts in the RTY because again, I did not want to trade against that RTY with um, with the, with the overall trend being up. I just didn't want to. Now, you know, right, wrong, or indifferent, did it matter? I don't know." I mean, look at that. Of course, this is this is nine 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 twenty two in the morning. Look at that! Holy cow! Then look at this. This is your low boom boom. Wow! <laughs> of course, these are these are all <clears throat> you know when the market opened. But I mean, that's that's some beautiful stuff. It really is. That is some. These are some beautiful. If you don't think these lines mean something, how come that happened? How come that happened? Anyways, so let's talk about the one trade I took in the RTY. What we did is we crossed over, created, you know, new donkey and high, but we broke all these pivots to our left. We even broke this major pivot right here. See that? See this pivot right here? Look to your left. We broke that pivot and then we rotated back and I was convinced, boy, we are, we're gone. We're off to the races. So I took the long here. With uh, two contracts, it ran up, and my stop went to break even, and we came back, boom, knocked me out, all over. I'm done. So I, that's that's that was a break even there. Uh, <clears throat> so, anyways, that those were two minis. Those are five hour five hours a tick. Um, I think it went up about man, I about fourteen ticks, fifteen ticks. My stop goes to break even at ten. I I was expecting it to run back up to here. It did not rolled over and I'm done. All right. But this was after 
you know, the news at 10 o'clock. And again, I ignored it down. I ignored all this stuff going on in here because I didn't like the fact that we had been predominantly up for the day. I was, when this started doing this, I was very hard looking at this. If we could have just broke down, hit that overnight open and wham, right back into the red line, that would have been that would have been great. That would have been my bread and butter for the day, but it did not happen. So I tried to do, you know, I tried to wait for it to rotate up, come back and then go this way. So let's talk about that. <clears throat> so here we go again. Now look at this. If you look over here to your left, you see this consolidation? See all this consolidation, right? And remember, we're talking about longs here because we're looking for longs. So you see all this consolidation going on here. This is this runs from about 1047 to about 1117 or so. So what, about 30 minutes? About 30 minutes this ran, okay? In consolidation, just nothing, just, just nothing. And the, and the down is not working. See, it went up, down didn't work. Went up, down didn't work. Went up, down didn't work. Went up right here through the red line. Okay. Sat on the red line. Pulled through the red line. Again, we're not looking for shorts. Broke the pivot. What did we talk about earlier? I'm going to blow this up. I'm sorry. Let's do this. Let's do this. All right. Broke these pivots to the left right here. Sat on top of the red line. And then bam. So why do you think that did that? Because again, they chased. Those were the chase outs. And then they're looking for a place to reset. And go now. I got that circled. I wouldn't have traded that. I'm just showing it to you. Now, what I would have traded, I'm going to show you next. Okay. So here we are. We got a nice run up. Wow. Well, that would that would have been a beautiful trade, by the way. Okay. But again, I'm trying to help you with this strategy. Recognize where are these big candles going to be? Because the big candles are you're in. You're in and you're gone. And that's what makes your trading stress-free. You're in and you're gone. Where are the where are those places being highlighted? Okay? So, let's keep looking. Now, it's very obvious that we've broken all these pivots to the left now. I mean, this isn't even questionable, right? And and we're way past 11 o'clock. Okay, so I'm not worried about this 9 EMA necessarily. And then down we go. And 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 down we go. Now, so if this is the pivot we broke, and this is the moving average that we're trying to use, here's a nice long candle down. And then wait for it to break. There you go. Now, what would have happened to me? I'm going to tell you right now what would have happened to me. But I'm trying to show you these big candles. I wish people would quit texting me when I'm working here. Jesus. Well, what would have happened to me on this trade? I'm showing you the trade. I didn't take it. Uh, I didn't even have my computer on. But what would have happened here is you would have gone up. Let's see here. This would have been in at 67. It ran up to 69. So 30 ticks. And then it rolled over. I would have been out at break even, if not earlier. But that's not the end of it. Now it's going to use this as support. See that? Now you're, now you're 21 support. Here's your support. Here's your support. See that? Support, 
support, support. So there you go. I think that's it for the, there you are. Was that it? Yeah, we should be at the end here. Where is the end? There it is right here. Okay. So anyways, of course, it's after 12 o'clock, all that stuff. I don't, I don't really, I don't look for trades then anyways, but it's that it's those big, it's, it's understanding when this is support, understanding what is going on to your left, understanding when you get these long candles into it and then your reversals. And that's what, and so you're trying to identify these big green candles when they're going to happen versus this garbage. Anyways, I'm going to take some trades again tomorrow, hopefully. Uh, and uh, I'm at break even today. So I don't, I mean, I'm not feeling bad because I saw some really good trades that I did not take because I didn't even discuss them in this channel yet. This would have been one of them. Uh, and definitely the NQ one would have been another one. But anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.